All right, this is gonna be the most fair test you've ever seen with nine millimeter versus 40 versus 45. And this is gonna be kind of my video in comparison to another video I'm going to do. I'm gonna film both of them, but basically I'm gonna do a video with Dan the Wolfman. He wanted to see how the Underwood 45 ACP 230 grain rounds would do compared to the nine millimeter 124 grain plus P plus. So that was his idea that the 230 grain would do really well. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is gonna be nine millimeter plus P plus 115 grain, 40 Smith and Wesson, 150 grain and 45 ACP 185 grain. What makes this test interesting, both this video and the one I'm gonna film with the 230 grain and the other nine millimeter is that these are all Nosler bullets. And Nosler bullets are good bullets. They seem to expand really well. They seem to be pretty soft bullets. So when you're going up to a powerful rounds, powerful rounds like plus P plus 40 and 45 ACP plus P, you know, you're going to get a lot of expansion. Now, this is going to be the most fair test you've ever seen, partly because I'm using essentially the same amount of barrel travel. You know, our 40 and 9 millimeter, I'm using a 5-inch barrel, our 45, a 5.3 inch, but the 45 is a little bit longer. They all have the same sectional density. Also, our velocity goes from 1,200 feet per second on the 45, 1,300 on the 40, and 1,400 on the 9mm plus P+. Plus. Also, our, our pistols, you know, our uh, 45 is 13 plus 1, our 40 is 15 plus 1, our 9mm is 17 plus 1. So, we have pretty much the most ideal, really common setup, all same sectional density, just everything about this is gonna be really fair. Same bullets, all Nosler bullets. So we're gonna go through the chronograph, see what kind of velocity and accuracy we get at the same time with those long slide pistols. Then we're gonna go through our 10% clear ballistic test, which contains four layers of denim, followed by about three inches of clear ballistics to represent hitting a pectoral muscle. And a quarter inch medium density fiberboard to represent hitting like ribs or sternum and to more clear ballistics. Typically, this takes away about two inches of clear ballistics penetration, but not always. But I am going to take the MDF out to represent a gut shot because this would represent a ribs or sternum shot. And we'll see how these bullets perform hitting something that's going to simulate ribs or sternum versus hitting just a gut shot. And then I'm going to shoot from a little bit of a distance, probably 25 yards, just to see what kind of practical accuracy I can get with these rounds. So let's get started with this test. All right, first up, we have our 9 millimeter 115 grain plus P plus. It's rated at 1,400 feet per second. I'm five yards from the target, four yards from the chronograph. Let's see how close we get to 1,400 feet per second with this 115 grain Nosler. 1,438. 1,456. 1,407. 1,434. 1451, so above rated velocity. That one shot, I kind of jerked the trigger on that and pulled that, so that's on me. But we're above rated velocity, so looking pretty good. Let's see how our 40 does. All right, 40 Smith & Wesson rated at 1,300 feet per second. 150 grain. Let's see how close we get to 1,300. 1265. 1301. 1284. 1293, 1298, interesting here, hung up a little bit on that feed ramp, um, close to rate of velocity, just a little bit below, so let's see how our 45 does, all right, 45 ACP, 185 grain plus P, rated at 1200 feet per second, let's see what we get with this, 1140, 1203, 1175, 11.24, 11.05, not very consistent with that round, and the furthest below rated velocity, which is kind of interesting, so doesn't mean it's not a good round, it just means it's why they're rating it so high, I don't know. Let's try our ballistics gel block and see what we get with these rounds. All right, first up we have our nine millimeter, 115 grain plus P plus through our medium density fiber board after going through four layers of denim and three inches of clear ballistics. So let's see what we get with this Nosler 115 plus P plus. Wow. I 
I've never seen anything like that before where it just completely busted up this uh, fiber board. It wasn't even that close to the to the corner there and it just, boom, <laughs> ripped it right off. Interesting. All right, so what we're looking at here is we're at about 11 and a half inches of penetration. Typically that means about 13 and a half without the MDF, but not always because bullets do weird things. So let's head it above that without the MDF and let's see what we get. All right, our plain clear ballistic shot with our nine millimeter. Let's see how this does. All right, so our MDF shot was about 11 and a half. This is about actually about 12 and three quarters. So definitely a different uh, equation there. And I think that's because the bullet shapes look a little bit different here. You know, I see a pedal kind of hanging off on the MDF shot as where it looks just kind of rounded um, with our plain clear ballistics shot. But what I can say is it looks really consistent in general, it looks really good. And, you know, we're not getting over penetration and we're getting pretty adequate penetration, but just barely. Let's see how our 40 does. All right, 40 Smith and Wesson through our MDF. Let's see how this does. All right, it actually kind of touched the channel of another round. Um, most of the time when people say that they're wrong, that I'm not shooting, that they're, I'm shooting in the same channel when I'm not, but this time I actually did. So I'm gonna do it again and make sure not to hit another channel. And that time I did not hit another channel at all. You know, this is something I've wanted to address for a long time is people will often be like, oh, you just shot through the same one, but they're not seeing it from the top here where it's, you know, inches apart. But what we're looking at here, if I line this back up, three inches here, is through our MDF, we just got a lot of damage going on, really a lot. And we're stopped at about 13 and three quarters which would typically be about uh, 15 and three quarters. Not always, like I say, but let's take out the MDF and try it that way. All right, playing clear ballistics, no MDF. Let's see what the 40 will do. All right, we got a nice shot placement there. And what's interesting here, let's move this up a little bit though, is that typical equation, like I say, where it reduces that penetration did not play out. And I think it's because it looks like we have more pedals that are intact with the plain clear one. You know, with the MDF one, with the 40, we saw, um, we can see up here there's pedals that kind of broke off this one not they're just hanging off it and they're more jagged but we got the same penetration we got that 13 and three quarters so very consistent um just barely hitting our minimum for penetration but that's not necessarily bad let's see how our 45 does all right 45 acp through our medium density fiber board let's see what this will do <laughs> And I completely destroyed the rest of that. I actually split it in half this way. <laughs> but what we're seeing here is just a little bit more penetration than the rest of them. We're at about 14 and three quarters, which is typically, not always, like I say, <laughs> be about uh, uh, 16 and three quarters without the MDF. So let's shoot it without the MDF and see how that does. 
All right, no MDF, just our plain clear ballistic shot. Let's see what this will do. And again, it's acting like the other one. So our Nosler bullets seem to be kind of barrier blind when it comes to that. We're actually looking at a little bit less, which is interesting. You know, instead of 14 and three quarters, we're looking at about, you know, 14 and a half. And again, just like the uh, other ones, we're busting off pedal pieces when we hit the MDF, but not when we hit just our plain clear ballistics. So what we're seeing here is very consistent performance with these light, light for caliber bullets. They're, you know, they're all stopping right there, which, you know, is good for somebody that doesn't want too much penetration and wants to dump a lot of energy fast. You know, partly it's from the velocity and bullet weights, but partly it's because of the Nosler bullet lead alloy and design. It just opens up really quickly. So let's shoot from a little distance and see how these do. All right, last time I shot from 10 yards, people really seem to respond quite well to it. They really like to see the fast shooting from 10 yards. So. 10 yards from my full-size steel silhouette there. I want to see if there's a difference in rapid fire of how easy or how dif difficult it might be to shoot these different cartridges. Obviously, the higher in caliber and power you go, you might have a little bit of issue here. So I only have a few rounds of these 45s left because it was an incomplete box. I think I have only three or four rounds here. So um, let me do a point shot, see if I can hit with that, see how that looks. <laughs> that's the point shot to make not where i was aiming but uh, let me just aim on it and pop them off yeah not easy at all to shoot that uh so let's move on to our 40. you know that that recoil really made that pistol jump around so Will our 40 make it a little easier? Try a point, point shot with this. Oh, safety. <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> Let me pop them off. Malfunction. Safety went on. So the recoil, actually the way I hold this pistol, it caused my thumb to push that safety up. And a malfunction one time, it could be limp wristing, it could be who knows what it is. Um, but theoretically our nine millimeter should do better. Well, let me try a point shot with that. Safety went on again, drawing it. <laughs> All right, let me pop them off. Well, misses, for sure. And, you know, that's got a bit of recoil, but it's definitely less than a typical, even a, just a typical 40. Definitely a lot less than a 45. So I can definitely see why some people might like a lot of uh, firepower, a lot of rounds easy to control however you're not necessarily going to be emptying that many rounds in a real world gunfight you're not necessarily um, going to be shooting that fast um, so just because you can push them out as fast as possible doesn't mean you should you should really you know know your shots clearly make shots that you're going to land so my exercise here is not quite real world but you know real world people get excited and they they go at it so that's what you get today uh underwood nozzle or bullets they all seem to perform quite well on our ballistic test so that's what you get today so as always comment share and like and thanks for watching